Hello everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. May Almighty God bless you, guide you, and promote you in Jesus' name. Amen. Our topic today is never give up on your dream. Never give up on your dream. You see, in this life, when you show courage in the face of adversity, you change your life and others. Some people in the world are the ones who won't settle for average and have triumph through adversity. We are most inspired by people who have experienced difficulty and never ever give up. What is happening to your life today? Why are you shedding tears? Do you think that God has forsaken you? No. Luck is great, but most of life is hard work. Sometimes the only way out of stress is through it. Face struggle to overcome challenges in life. Many th times struggle happens to help teach us a lesson. We can either learn from that lesson or deny it. The human mind's main goal is to keep you safe. Sometimes this leads to self-sabotage as it's just easier to stay in your comfort zone and avoid risk. Can it be possible? Whatever we do in this life is to take risk. Sleeping is a risk. Eating is a risk. So many things we do in this life is a risk. Don't quit. Don't. Because God has a place for you. I have some inspired words I've written. And I know that God will use it to bless you. Boldly go in the direction of your dreams. Yes. Stand tall and show the world what you are made of. When the world beats you down, find a reason to get back up again. Never give up on success. Try and try again. Feed your mind ideas of success, not failure. Some people will be thinking about sickness. Why should you think about sickness? Move forward in, in your life. In the morning, command your morning. Tell God what you want. You must succeed. Don't allow negative thoughts to cover your life. No. Don't say, I will not. No, don't say it. I am. I'm doing it. I will do it. I will get it. And Almighty God is hearing you. Amen. Remember the only way you can fail is if you give up. Every time you fail, you come one step closer to success. You are not scared. You are courageous. You are not weak. You are powerful. You are not ordinary. You are remarkable. Do not back down. Do not give up. When you look back on your life, don't have regrets. Believe in yourself. Believe in your future. You will find your way. There is a fire burning inside you. That is very powerful. It is waiting to burn bright. You are meant to do great things. Follow your dreams can be both terrifying and exciting. Honestly, it can be exciting. Courage is facing fear. Fear of failure holds most people back. You are not most people. Remember, you are not most people. You are a child of God, a child of destiny. Persist and persuade others about your plans as they are real. Nobody can do this but you. Nobody will get in the way of our, your dreams or our dreams. Most people master the obvious. You are creating something that wasn't there before. It's bold. It's beautiful. It's you. Give it your best and your dreams will come to life. Success is yours in Jesus' name. 
Go for your dreams. It is your turn. I always tell people this. I tell them this. Be bold. Be courageous. Do not let yourself down. Because whenever you let yourself down, this is the thing the enemy wants. This Satan wants you to be speaking negatively on your life. Have confidence in yourself. Because God has created you to be rich and to have wisdom. Don't let yourself down. Because God Almighty is with you always. Because sometimes circumstances in our life make us feel that despite all the hard work we are doing we have got nothing to show for it there are days when all we ever encounter are roadblocks <laughs> preventing us from moving forward the moments when our dream seems so out of reach make us wonder if it's truly worth pursuing or fighting for Okay. However, the challenges we face along the way are not meant to make us quit and just spend the rest of our days on the sidelines, being bitter about life. The challenges strewn on our paths are meant to test our mental, to see if we are made of stronger stuff. It is normal to feel anxious when we are dealing with life or when we are pursuing our goals. Nevertheless, that moment when you feel the greatest anxiety, that is tempting to just quit is the perfect occasion to keep going. Some people who quit, who quit going after their goals have feelings of deep regret for doing so. For it is only after they have thrown in the towel that they realize that success was actually so close only if they have preserved there are a lot of important learning opportunities when you don't give up you are going to gain more experience in life then why do you give up why why do you allow people to let you down why do you want to kill yourself never give up for that is just the place and time that the tide will turn there is no failure except in no longer trying things aren't always easy but you just have to keep going and don't let the small stuff bog you down i'm telling you never give up on something you believe in don't give up before the miracle happens please my brothers and sisters there is nothing I can really do but keep going out there and swinging never give up your desire to be what you want to be don't listen to what anybody says except the people who encourage you if it's what you want to do and it's within yourself, then keep going and try to do it for the rest of your life. Don't listen to what anybody says except the people who encourages you. I always tell people this. Stick around. Don't lose your heart. Just keep going. Keep at it. That's what is incredible about human beings is the choice to keep going. Never, never give up because God is with you. Survivor can be summed, summed up in three words. Never give up. That's the heart of it. Really, just keep trying. Okay? Just keep trying. Either do not begin or having begun, do not give up. It's not that I am so smart. It's just that I stay with problems longer. Winners never quit, and quitters never win. Thank you, my brothers and sisters. May the good Lord bless you and guide you in Jesus' glorious name. And try to subscribe to Wisdom TV. May you be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.